first grade class performing I Know I Can by Nas with a bit of a remix. Enjoy!
Third grade class of Satan Glory by John Lennon. There are second graders given a poem by John Lennon.
across all fields of art, including music, dance, theater, visual art, and literature. Today we are going to present to you a visual art gallery of well-known African-American illustrators and artists. Please sit back and enjoy the show. Vanessa Brandy Newton was born during the Civil Rights Movement at a tennis school in New York, New Jersey. Being part of a diverse, tiny community during such turbulent times, Vanessa learned the importance of acceptance and empowerment during shaping and shaping a young person's life. She wants all children to see their unique experience reflect in the book they read so they can feel the same sense of empowerment and recognition as a young reader. Vanessa celebrates self-love and acceptance through her work. She hopes to inspire young readers to find their own voices. She first expressed herself as a little girl through song. Growing up in a musical family, Vanessa parents taught her how to sing to overcome her stutters. Each night, the family would make music together with her mom on piano, her dad on guitar, and Vanessa and her sister, Koi, singing the blues, gospel, spirituals, and jazz. Now, whenever she illustrates, music finds its way into her art. Kristen Robertson is passionate about telling stories or pictures. Born in Hollywood, California, 1986. He grew up in a small apartment with his, wait, no, a bedroom apartment with his brother, two cousins, aunt, and grandma. Drawing became a way for him to make space in the, for himself in a world proud of a loving other. He changed the artwork group to be a vision to the express of the world that he wished for his actors studying. Resulted in first picture book gave face on the characters from the month of 21. A dedicated artist from childhood, Christian has worked tirelessly to illustrate 17 books in his distinctive, engaging, beautiful cup paper style. His many accolades include a Caldecott Honor and Coretta Scott King Illustrator Award for Last Stop on Market Street 2015, as well as numerous star reviews in children's literature publication. He currently lives in Northern California with his rescue greyhound and several house pets. Born in Columbus, Georgia, and the new base is in the New York City area. Amy Shaw documents con con contemporary and African-American uh, experience in the United States of America. A rusty and intimate portraits. She received her MFA in painting from Maryland into the College of Art and BA from Clark Atlanta University. Cheryl's work is held in a public collection across the United States of America, rising to frame in 2018 after being handpicked by former First Michelle Obama to paint her official portrait. Amy Cheryl is now today the best known African American artist. She is part of a new generation of artists who have revived the Western art genre of portraiture by making it contemporary and relevant, known for freeing her subjects from stereotypes and historical narratives of black suffering. Her artworks make a strong political statement about equality and the humanity of all subjects, regardless of skin color. Cheryl, Cheryl was the first woman and first African American to ever receive the grand prize in 2016 at the Whichever Portrait Competition from the National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C. She also received the 2017 Annual Miracle was a Woman Award and the 2019 Smithsonian Ingenuity Award. Thank you for 
Grace for showing us such a beautiful, beautiful art. Our next performance will be a reenactment of a poem. Cage bred by Maya Angelo. A free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream to the current ends and dips his wings in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky. But a bird that stops down his narrow cave can seldom see through his bars of rain. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied till he opens his throat to sing. Stop! The cage bird sings with a fearful trail of things unknown but long for still, and his tune is heard on a distant hill, and the cage bird sings of freedom. Gah! But a cage bird stands on the grave of dreams. His shadow shots on a nightmare screen. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. Ah! The cage, the cage, the cage bird sings with a fearful trail of things unknown. But long for still, the tune is heard on the distant hill for the cage bursting of freedom. Hamilton's sixth grade girls showcasing black women fashion from the house of fields in Hamilton. The first decade we're going to start is with the 1950s fashion. We're going to start with Jamie and Imani. Come on down, Jamie and Imani. Jamie is wearing a beautiful white. Imani is wearing a beautiful green and white polka dot dress with short sleeves. Many ladies wore these types of dresses to church, work, or to take care of business. 
along with a hat, gloves, and purse. Thank you, Jamie and Yvonne. Yeah. 1960s with Caroline and Malaysia. Caroline is wearing a vibrant go-go dress in the lively colors with beautiful earrings and tights. Loving the hair and the ponytail and bangs. Malaysia is wearing a beautiful 60s inspired dinner dress with a jeweled neck, ready for the evening to see the temptations. Thank you, Caroline and Malaysia. Coming right along is our 1970s Africana Black Power. Leilani is wearing what was the beginning of the popular Black Power movement. And the 70s was the rage of the dashiki, African-inspired print, kente-inspired print, shirt, pants, dress, along with skirts or jeans, pants with the hair in either an afro bun or down long with earrings and accessories. Peace on out, Leilani. Finally, we'll have our 80s and 90s with Zoe and Yanni. Zoe is demonstrating big hair, big bold colors, and long dresses. That college comfort look was in. This look was in it for the college dorm look. Walking across campus at Spelman or Bennett, or Bennett College with this look to have your classmates asking, where you got that look from, girl? Yanni has a tea leaf dress so she can go to her AKA or Delta Sigma Theta event. Thank you, Yanni and Zoe. <laughs> Ladies, walk on up and take your bow, and thank you very much. Great applause and Ms. Hamilton for giving us that nice fashion show. This is going to conclude our Black History Month program, but before you leave, I would like to thank our student support staff. I would like for them to come up. Can I have Moises, Osvaldo, Edgar, Steven, Lennon, Davion, Ashley, and Allison? Moises was on the music, Osvaldo was on our visuals, Edgar and Steven were calling the teachers and escorting the um, classes on and off stage, Lennon and Davion were on our mic and our behind the scenes props, and Ashley and Allison was on our welcome team. And on behalf of our school, we're gonna give each of them a Raising's Canes Award gift certificate for helping us out. So, I would also like to give thanks to our MC. I don't know where she went. She was supposed to be right there. But her name, <laughs> her name is Jamie. I would like to thank her for MCing our whole Black History Month program today. We really enjoyed her. Uh, whenever she comes out, give her hers. And I would also like to thank the teachers, staff, and the parents. Thank you guys for coming out. We really appreciate your support. So let's give a round of applause to you guys. Thank you. And last but not least, I would like to thank our admin and support staff that supported us in making sure that this happened. So thank you. And here you go. This is Jamie, our MC, by the way. All right. Thank you, guys. We hope you enjoy, and you guys have a great rest of the day.